North Carolina at NC State, and apparently there are going to be a lot of uh, protesters, or as I call them, whales with whistles. I'm going to go incognito to get the inside 411. Would you mind uh, Would you mind talking to me for a second? I'm doing a paper at Duke University. I'm doing a thesis on linguistics of rape culture. And I'd heard about this protest just in the news. We just want to know exactly the nature, exactly what you're protesting specifically about. Degrading women, objectifying women. Treating them like property and objects to fuck. So what parts of the book meet the legal definitions of rape? You know, when he talks about his persuasive powers, you know, that's coercion, and coercion does not give consent. So legally, without consent, it's rape. Do you think women who are involved in the film, do you think they'd be demeaned? Because it just so happens, Carrie, she's an actress in the film. You hold the mic. I'm not your bitch. Have you seen the movie? I'm just curious. You haven't read or seen the material. I don't know personally if he's raped anybody because I haven't read his book. I can't say I read the whole book. It only took me about maybe 30 seconds to read through some of his stuff and then turn off the computer and start walking over here to make signs. I'm going to be here for the vigil later on, hopefully after the movie, you know, honoring cancer, um, cancer uh, rape victims. He doesn't even understand the definition of rape, and yet he's defending himself as not a racist. A oh, rapist. <laughs> We've really got to do something. In this case, science. <laughs> One of the other parts of the legal definition of rape is if you're incapacitated, and when you're drunk, you're incapacitated. So, you know, legally, a drunk person can't give consent. So interesting, because I probably haven't had sex sober in like three years, honestly, so it's just like a weird thing to think that, about. Where exactly is rape perpetuated in the, in the stories? Uh, I couldn't actually point to a specific example. Uh, essentially, date rape. Uh... Date rape? How, where is there date rape? Because Tucker doesn't date. That's an excellent point. As a fellow gay man, I really appreciate your help with this. Thank you. As a solitary man here in this group, I was just curious what your thoughts were about the protests. My, my real issue here is that the university, by inviting Tucker Max here and showing his film, is officially supporting this and saying, we want this sort of content at our university. Have you ever seen a vagina? Uh, no, sir. No? Oh, no, not in person, at least. Um, you want to? Eventually, yes. Somebody we who's don't not call it stranger. date rape anymore. We call it non-acquaintance rape because yeah. people think that just because you're dating someone, if you have sex with them, that it can't be rape. Let me tell you something. I've been gay since I was 13, and we don't have date rape. We have rape date. What do you say to people who say that having sex with drunk girls is rape? Like, you know, I posted this thing today, sort of my response to the protesters, and, um, and I got like 20 emails from women who were rape victims saying that like they supported me and loved my stuff, and they all had like these stories that were all like heartbreaking, dude, because Just fucking that. rape sucks, dude. It's like not a joke. And, uh, and I feel like what the protests, their, their hearts are probably in the right place, to be honest. But I feel like um, they're fucking it up, man, because what they're doing is really kind of devaluing the seriousness of an actual crime. And, uh, and so it's like, like I'm kind of torn, because on one hand, I want to just fucking make jokes all day long, but on the other hand, there's like a fucking serious issue behind this. I, dude, I mean, the discussion about where consent lies and doesn't lie is an important one that should be had. This is not the fucking forum. And, uh, and that's never been an issue for me. So, I don't know, man. I feel like if, if that's an issue to you, that's great, and pursue it, but do it with the people who it need to, needs to be pursued with, and not with me. And on that note, a lot of these issues that, that are being talked about outside in terms of rape culture and, and consent are related to alcohol. And if the issue is girls drinking too much, being young and immature and drinking too much, I wonder why they're not out at bars who have dollar draft night. You mean why they are? No, why they are, why they are not? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's why, true, why are you not out at Nickel Draft Night or Dollar Liquor Night? Or why are you not talking to Anheuser-Busch because the issue is alcohol? Just as much as it is about men versus women. And the issue is the decisions people make. Yeah. It, and it's about the decisions people make, both men and women. And I think what these people are doing outside, I understand what their issues are, and I understand why it's so important to them, but they are just 
they're swinging at the wrong pitch. And that's why there's 250 of you in here right now, and there's 80 of them outside. How would you represent uh, working as a woman on the film and your, your part in the film? Look, when I read the script, I mean, it's, it's definitely raunchy. It has a lot of Tucker in it. But I will say the female character, the characters in this movie, are very strong women and identified them. They're a lot stronger than any characters I've ever even seen in a comedy. And so for me, you know, I was honored to be a part of it from that aspect. And I think it's a good representation of those char the characters that are important in the movie are strong, balanced women. Funny, very witty, very clever. It was awesome. It, it represented fun. the book really well, and all the funniest parts of the book were in there. It was, <laughs> it was great. Good. It was it. awesome. I love the book, and I bought tickets the first day, and it was totally worth it. Best thing I've seen since Porky's. Is it better than sex? Absolutely. <laughs> ten times, ten times. It was awesome.